Good evening, everyone, all my subscribers, the people that follow me, the people that like me, and the people that don't like me. Good evening. I know it has been a while, but the reason for that is that I do have a social life, and I have to answer to the wife. Okay, so my videos will be a bit late than they should be. Like I did promise I'd come on a bit later the weekend, but... I didn't, so I'd like to apologise to you and everyone that listens to me for that. So I shall do two tonight. I should do one about the job we was on when we worked on Eurotunnel and what Craig got up to and got the sack after we'd done Blackfriars Bridge. But first of all, I want to ask some serious questions to my mate Bernard first. Now Bernard, you're soon there called at soon they are calling me a police informer now you have no proof that i am a police informer i have ever been a police informer i do not have a handler i have never had a handler i was a good friend with jack bowler yes and i know gary duckwell and that lot from drug squad yes i do and i put my hands up and i told the truth about that did i give gary any information that's the question you'll find on Terry Stone. I do a podcast with him. Because I'm going to go on now and I'm going to tell no lies. I'm going to tell the truth and I'm going to shock people. Okay, what's going to come out? So that should be pretty good. But first of all, I want to ask my friend Bernard. That says he doesn't know me. Yet when I first come on here, it was, Hi Brian, long time no see. And I've got that in a message from you, Bernard. So if you don't know me, why don't you put that long time no see? You know what I mean? Anyway, Bernard, my dear friend, are you or have you ever been a police informer? Did you have a handler? Have you still got a handler? Now, I know the truth and I've got it in black and white. Okay, so you think you're the only one who can find things out. But I found your address. You know what I mean? So people do talk about you, Bernard. They do come up and tell me things. And hopefully, as well, that letter from Mark Murray might come soon. He's told me that he's really considered doing it after having a go at me for what I did on dispatches over him, and I agree, and I tried to apologise, but I don't think he accepted the apology from me. I was like you, Bernard, I stuck his name up, and I put my hands up to that, okay? But he's considering the letter, and if the letter comes, I will bring it on here and I will show everyone. I will show the envelope to prove it has come from where he is, but I'm not just making it up. But that's it. But anyway, like I say, Bernard, are you or have you ever been a police informer? Now, you say you're a straight, honest person. You don't lie. Fucking <laughs> lie. <laughs> oh, dear me. Jack and Ori. Now, I know I put a video on a while ago about uh, Kilroy and what Bernard said on Kilroy. Now, Bernard went running, all oh, he did went running to YouTube and had it removed because YouTube sent me a message saying the contents that I put in that video about Kilroy and Raquel's had to be taken down. So in my eyes, that makes you fucking guilty, Bernard. Okay. So what was your role in Raquel's, Bernard? Okay. You confessed your role was the control of drugs. So be honest, put your hands up and say, yes, I did have the control of drugs in Rack Hills. Don't go running to YouTube and say, please take that video down. Oh, I fear for my life, please. Oh, dear me. I don't take your videos down, but I don't make complaints when you're stuck in a dress up. You say I live in that, did I? I didn't go running to YouTube and say, YouTube, please take that down. Bernard's putting a dress up. It's not my address. Now, I'm due to go on Terry Stone's podcast soon. 
as you probably know, Bernard, because I think probably, probably Terry would have told you that. Now, you are due to go on April, I believe. April's nearly over. So I think deep down you're going to cancel April and go on after me. It doesn't bother me, Bernard, if you go on before me or after me. I'm bringing some evidence to the table, okay? Some shockers. I'm going to go on now and I'm going to tell the truth about everything. No more lies. No more deceit. Bernard, come on. Be a straight honest man. Doesn't matter what you've done in your life. If you're that big, huge, hard nut you make yourself out to be. Just tell the truth. Think of your family. You know what I mean? Instead of running to fucking YouTube complaining. And then we got Colton. He's still doing his talk shows, which is good on him. You know what I mean? The toughest football hooligan going. Yes. Hey. He got a phone call from Tony to come on the meet with him. Yes. Hey. He was number one suspect in the murders and pulled in. <laughs> yes. But I've proved that wrong as well. So Colton's still going around telling lies. And I thought, be honest, you're Colton after me coming after you and you couldn't answer my questions outright. You couldn't even face and do a podcast with me. You would have stopped doing it by now. But if people want to believe you, I can't change their minds. Until I put it in black and white. And people will know what you really are. I've always said from day one, Tony fell out with you. A lot of people said, no, they didn't. No, he didn't. They were friends for years. Yeah, oh, there's it. But Lee Chapman's proved it. Tony fell out with you. Now, I heard it was over money. So why, whatever it was, and that's why you went and smashed up the punch bag. I don't know. But Tony fell out with you. Craig didn't like you. And Pat didn't like you. That's what I was told. So I don't come here and make yourself out something I'm not. I don't come on here and lie to people. Because I was just a nobody. So I'm here to tell the truth, Bernard. Something that you'll never know that word, will you? Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to Bernard. And I hope you accept my gift of Humpty Dumpty and you're well chuffed with it after I made you a, a leather plastic coat for it. And that's my souvenir to you. And Colton, I haven't forgot about you. I am coming to one of your shows. Not to cause you trouble. I'm coming to ask you some serious questions. And I want you to not get angry and say, remove that man from the audience, please. Answer me the truth. That's all. Anyway, I'm going now, but I'll do another one in a minute. Bye.